Hi everybody, I thought that this would be a much easier and faster way for us to do confirmation orientation this year. And I know that we started last week, but last week was a getting to know you and just talking about confirmation, the expectations that the kids have to do. Um, but for parents, I just wanted to pop in and say a couple of things about confirmation this year because it will be different than years past. Uh, the most notable difference will be the fact that we're going to be focusing more on what I would call like basic Christian education, foundations. And so we're like this week, we're going to be talking about God's love. Next week, we're going to be talking about us as theologians and what that looks like. But we're going to be going through different biblical Christian focuses. What is grace? What is salvation? What is sin? Um, really helping the kids to have a really firm Christian education, which will then interpret and go along with their faith journey throughout their lives. Um, so all of what I'm going to be putting together this year will be on a Google Drive, and I'll send that link out in the um, weekly email this week. So all of that is in there. So if you are missing a week or something like that, or just want to see what we're doing in class, you can go on the Google Drive, and I have it sorted out week one, week two. Right now there's only two. I'll be doing it about a week at a time. Um, if you have any questions, please always, always let me know. Parents are always welcome to be in class with us too. So if you want to come and see what we're learning, you're more than welcome to do that. I, I just, I wanted to make sure that everybody knew the plan going forward for this year because it will look a little bit different than what we've done in the past. Last year's, years past, we have a scripture that we focus on every week and go through that. And, um, I really just want to get back to the basics for all of the kids and really make sure that they're understanding more than anything that God loves them and that they're children of God. And if that's all they take away from confirmation in my two or three years, that's perfectly fine with me. I want them to know that they're loved, know that they're forgiven, know that they're saved. Those are the things that are, are really important to Pastor John and I that confirmation kids are walking away from is a, is a relationship with Jesus, a relationship with God. So if you have any questions, like I said, certainly reach out and let me know. It's this, uh, as far as like worship notes and same the and such, that's the same as previous years, 25 worship notes throughout the year. Like I told the kids, I will take worship notes for this year until like next August. I'm very open with that. 25 can be online at a different church, at Cross. Um, I did make mention to the kids though that I do read the worship notes. So if they're not taking the time to answer the reflection questions, I am going to give it back to them and ask them to try it again. And service hours, it's five hours a year for each of the three years of confirmation. So 15 hours total. If your kid went on the mission trip or has done a lot of different service hours, then they're good. Just make sure that they fill out that volunteer service form so I can keep track of that. If you have questions about where kids are at with volunteer hours, just let me know. I will update kids with worship notes and such throughout the year. Um, I'm very flexible with it. I just, I would like to see them in worship and see them engaging with worship. And we, the kids and I talked about that last week as well during class. Sorry about that. Um, I think that that's about it. The worship notes, service hours, our focus for class, the Google Drive. Um, Again, this year, there'll be different events throughout the year for middle school youth. Uh, we have a game night coming up. The mission trip meeting is already going to be coming up in October, um, which this year we're planning to do something super local, like Twin Cities local maybe. Um, so if your kid has not wanted to participate in the mission trip, perhaps because it's going too far and they're just not very comfortable with that or parents are not comfortable with that, uh, this might be the year for you to do that since um, we're planning that we will be Twin Cities, Hudson, you know, within a couple of hours even. So please come and check out that meeting that I think it's on October 9th. It's a Wednesday uh, following worship, I think. I, I would have to look. But game night, the mission trip meeting, um, and then high school youth group is going to be starting too. So some of you also have high schoolers, so I hope to see them too. We're going to be trying Friday nights to see if that might help with people, but I'm flexible on days. Um, so we'll see what works best for the kids. Uh, I think that that's about it. So I hope that you enjoyed my very brief uh, parent orientation to confirmation. You can certainly call, text, email me. Um, I'm usually only at Cross on Sunday mornings and Wednesday afternoons. But if there's some other time that I need to be there, please just let me know. And I'm more than happy to meet if you need to talk. And 
yeah, I think that's it. I'm looking forward to another awesome year of confirmation. I love to teach confirmation. I think it's super fun. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So again, if you have questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.